what's going on everybody so today we're headed back into Shelby North Carolina there's a couple places up there that I want to check out and there's a few interesting facts I want to share as well I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get into some of the abandoned places some of them are right beside a, a jail annex and the cops up there ain't too friendly with people trespassing and uh, all of it's posted private property so but I do want to show these places at least what I can show and I want to share a little bit of information that I found out now Shelby looks rough on the exterior but it's actually a uh, a town that's kind of being revitalized as well but let's take a look and see what all we can find so a lot of people from the North Carolina area know that the Hunger Games was filmed here, but a lot of people outside of here actually have no idea. And uh, it took a lot of research for me to actually figure it out. Behind me is actually uh, a jail annex. <coughs> but they also said that the property here was also used by, uh, by the, the filmmakers of the Hunger Games and was used as part of the movie set. I would love to be able to get into some of these places, but yeah, you have signs like this all over the place. Here you have one of the abandoned train trestles. There's actually a couple of them located up around this area. Now, the reason I wanted to do this video was because I, I've heard some negative things about Shelby. But it's like that in every city. Somebody mentioned to me that there was also a uh, abandoned uh, uh, movie studio around here. And I did some research in, and what I came up with was a, a place on the outskirts and it isn't abandoned whatsoever. He's a, a very old movie producer, I think like back in like the, the 70s or something like that, but he still works out of the front office. So for all you people that think that that movie studio is abandoned, it isn't. I tried getting an interview with him and trying to get a tour of the area and he wasn't having it one bit. But it is what it is. I mean, some places they open or they let you in with open arms and some places they don't want nothing to do with you. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to drop down, hit that like button, subscribe if you already haven't. And as always, remember knowledge is power. Never limit yourself. Stay safe keep exploring.